Okay, class, picking up where we left off at. We have Celsius is equal to 5 nine times 13. We we'll make this 13 over 1. We will have Celsius is equal to 65 over 9. And we will put 65 divided by 9 into our calculator. That will give us 7.2 multiple 2. So since it's uh, a repeating decimal, let's just leave it at 65 over 9. Now what we need to do is change this to Kelvin. Kelvin is equal to Celsius plus 273 degrees. So we will substitute in the Celsius with the 65 over 9 plus 273. So now we add, we take 65 divided by 9 plus 273. That gives us 280.5. Repeat in twos, and we know we will round to one decimal place. So our final answer here would be 282 degrees Kelvin. Now we go to F. We have 10 degrees Kelvin is equal to blank degrees Fahrenheit. So let's go back here. The first thing we will do is let's change Kelvins to Celsius. So we have Kelvins is equal to Celsius plus 273. Now our Kelvins is 10. So Celsius plus 273. So we will subtract 273 as well as sunrise. So we will have a negative 263 to Celsius. Okay, so now what we need to do next is this here. We want to get Fahrenheit. So we will use the Fahrenheit formula, just like I had showed you all before. On this sheet here, we can see here Fahrenheit is 9 fifths Celsius plus 32. So we would take Fahrenheit is equal to 9 fifths Celsius plus 32. So we would substitute in for Celsius. We had 9 fifths times a negative 263 plus 32. And we could put this in our calculator. We would take 9 fifths times a negative 263. Then we would add 32. That will give us a negative 441.4. So we had a negative 441.4 Fahrenheit. And that is our final answer. Now, we scroll on to the next page. It says Black Mamba photo Wikipedia is the longest venomous snake in Africa, averaging 2.5 3.2 meters. How long is that feet? So what we need to do, we're actually going to get two answers. We're going to take 2.5 meters and change it to feet, and also take 3.2 meters and change it to feet. And we're around to one decimal place. So what we need to do, so we will put both of these on over one. Now we will multiply. Now we saw before that feet, we do have a measurement for feet and meters. So if we look here, I'm going to show this briefly. If we look right here, 1 meter is equal to 3.28 feet. So we would have 3.28 feet is 1 meter. 3.28 feet is 1 meter. So now meters, we simplify out with meters, and then we will multiply. We would have 2.5 times 3.28. That will give us 8.2. So it's exactly 8.2 feet. Now, we would take 3.2 and multiply it by 3.28. That will give us, we will round this to one decimal place, that will give us approximately 10.5 feet. And these are the two lamps for the black mile. Okay, now the black mamba also is also the fastest snake in the world, reaching speeds of 12.08 miles per hour. The average person walks at a speed of 3 miles per hour. How fast is the snake in meters per second? Okay, so we would take 3 miles every 1 hour. Now, we want to change miles to meters and hours to seconds. So first, let's deal with the hours. So now we know for one hour, the 
60 minutes. And then we know for one minute is 60 seconds. So now we took care of the hours and seconds. Now we want to take care of the miles and make it meters. So we will go back to our sheet here. We will look here at miles. Now, if you notice here, miles and kilometers are together here. Now, remember, we did this before. To change this to meters, we had to move this decimal three places to the right. So it would be 1,609.3 meters. So it would be 1,609.3 meters all over one mile. So now we simplify out. We have miles with miles. We have minutes with minutes and hours with hours. So now we multiply. Our denominator would be 3,600. That would be seconds. Our numerator, we would take 3 times 1,609.3. And that would give us 4,827.9. Divide that by 3600. And that will give us 1.3, we'll round to one decimal place, it'll give us 1.3 meters per second. And that is our final answer. Now, scroll to C. It says Usain Bolt is the fastest sprinter the world has ever known. He set a world record for 100 meters distance at 9.58 seconds in the 2009 World Championships. He ran at this speed. How many times faster is he than the Black Mama? Okay, so now he ran 100 meters in 9.58 seconds. Now we would take this and subtract the 1.3 meters per second from it. So, we would go 100 divided by 9.58 minus 1.3. That would give us, it would be 9.1 if we round that up, it would be 9.1 meters per second. That he's faster than a black mile. Okay, now, go to example 9. Conversions with square or cubic units. No, you may need to multiply by the conversion factors twice or three times when working with square and cubic units, respectively. You have rough, a roughly rectangular garden that is 8 meters long and 2 meters wide. So let's mark that 8 meters, 2 meters. What is the area of the garden in square meters? So we would take Area is equal to length times width. Area is equal to 8 meters times 2 meters. So the area is equal to 16 square meters. So that is your area. Now it says you want to put brick, a black landscape fabric down on the garden in order to block weeds from sprouting. And our sales of fabric you want at 11 cents per square foot. How many square feet of fabric do you need to buy? Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to look at our chart. And if we look here, we do have meters to feet. So remember, we want it to be square feet. So we would have to square both sides. So we would have to, and I'm going to do this off to the side. Well, matter of fact, I'm going to go up here. I have one meter, it was 3.28 feet, but we want to make these square units, so we will square both sides. So this would be one square meter is equal to, we would take 3.28 squared, and that would give us 10 point, and we just round to one decimal place, we would make this 10.8 square feet. Okay, so now, it says how many square feet of fabric do you need to buy? So we know we had 10.8 square feet. 
is equal to 1 square meter. So we have to multiply that by 16. So we would take this 10.8 times 16 to see how many square meters we have. Okay, class, uh, I want to change something here for this problem. Since we are utilizing a calculator, why don't we do this first? Why don't we take our, well, first of all, we know we would have to take the 16 square meters, and we have to change that to square feet. So we know one square foot, well, actually, should be one square meter is equal to 3.28 feet squared. Okay, so now that we have this, now what we would do is, since we have access to a calculator, we could put this in a calculator and then square the final answer. So it would be 16 times 3.28 squared. And that will give us, if we round to one decimal place, it'd be 172.1. So this would be 172.1 square feet.